Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at one of the best luxury Class A gas motorhomes that's still a small package that's here at the Hershey RV Show this year. This is the 2023 Newmore Baystar model 3225. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the new Mar Bay Star and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video again today. I am super excited. We are here at the Hershey RV Show showing you one of the best quality, that's short, Class A gas motorhomes in the industry, the base start. But before I begin, gotta say hi to Jen. Hey, Jen. Hey, guys. Great to see you again. Thank you so much. Yeah, we're here at the Hershey Show. Um, today's the day, actually, like when we're filming this, the day before the Hershey Show starts. So we're super excited to meet everybody. Definitely make sure if you're coming to the show to stop by the Orange Tent and say hi to us. Yes, and today's Tuesday. Thursday, so today's Saturday, so there's one more day of the show. Oh no, you better come by and see us if you haven't yet, guys. Sunday, you know, sometimes Sunday's the best time to get a deal. We hope to see you, each and every one of you is here. Jen, let's begin. Model is 3225, Newmar Baystar. The actual tip, tip length is 32 feet, 11 inches. This is the Newmar Baystar. It is not a Baystar Sport, um, so you get all the nice higher end Baystar features about it. And let's get started right up front here, Jen. Nice front windshield. I love it. I love Newmar's headlight design. Full body paint on every Newmar coming out of the factory. It looks fantastic. Uh, Baystar, again, there is the Baystar and Baystar Sport. Baystar Sport's going to be a little bit smaller, cheaper, and on a lighter weight chassis. This one's going to give you a lot more features. Something that I do like is kind of like that aggressive look right there. Makes it like a full figured bus look. You do have side cameras on both sides, not incorporated in the mirrors. And because this is a 2023, it does have 7.3 liter V8. That is the Godzilla. That's 350 horsepower and 468 pound-feet of torque. And then look at these tires, Jam near the Michelin's. I love those. 255-80R 22.5 with those shiny Alcoa rims. Don't they look good? They do. Coming on down the side here, Jen, we do have a very nice power awning with LED lights. Now, Jen, I didn't say this during the last Numar, but notice this, and remember this when we come to the end. Look at the awning, just like in the middle of the window. Oh, yeah. There. Isn't that unique? That is kind of weird. I actually haven't seen that, and then somebody called me out for it last time. That's just a very weird placement. Uh, we will talk about that a little bit later on in the video. Coming on down, it's a triple slide-out motorhome. Frameless windows right there. And we do have very nice aluminum slam latch doors. Now, Jen, one of our TikToks is becoming famous. Is it? Yeah, follow us on TikTok, at Matt's RV Reviews. Um, something about the way I slammed the doors. Oh, yeah. It's like trending on TikTok or something. It's a very satisfying slam. It's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> Over here, we got more storage. It's not much, but it's honest work. <laughs> hey, not all superheroes wear capes, Jen. <laughs> very beautiful full body paint job. You can show that one there. Just. Every color scheme that Newmark uses, uh, it's just always beautiful. Yeah. Now, right here we have the Onan 5500 generator. Now, Jen, I'm not sure for the Hershey show if these are the standard Newmark colors, but I know RV1 normally orders them with the custom paint colors. So oh. make sure you guys give us a call and we'll be able to figure out the exact paint color scheme for you. <coughs> a little bit more. Coming around the back, we do have a, you got those bugs chasing you? Yes. We do have a 5,000 pound hitch. This motorhome can tow 5,000 pounds. Backup camera there, a ladder to get up on the roof. And Jed, unfortunately, we're not gonna climb it today. Okay. <clears throat> right over here, it's where your storage is, your um, auto transfer switch, 50 amp power cord right there. Here's your fuel fill up. You know what this is for? Um, like your stinky slinky? No? Uh, like your abs- Oh, uh, oh. Uh, uh. <laughs> like your absolutely right stinky slinky. 
You don't want to put a stinky slinky in the storage. No, especially when it's carpeted. <laughs> yeah, what's up with that? That's nasty. Coming on down. Here's your wet bay. Very nice. Outdoor shower. Uh, water filtration system. Potable water fill. Potable. Potable. Right over here is where you dump one of your tanks. I like how it's all enclosed. He's dang bugs. Right. Get the heck out of here. Annoying me. Truma hot. Tank this water heater. I love how it's painted. Yeah. Other side of that storage. <clears throat> oh, snap. <laughs> Napa. On three. One, two, three. Napa, Napa know, know how. how. Good job, Jen. Very nice Napa batteries. And then right here we got our propane tanks. And then Jen. Show everybody who's watching on TV where the specs are. Bing. Oh! <laughs> so if you're seeing on TV, those are all the specifications about this motorhome. Yep. Well, Jen, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. <laughs> Cargo carry capacity, 1,848 pounds. Okay. All right, coming up, guys. We have a nice driver's area up here. It's a bit of a tight walkway, but it's still doable. We got our dinette here, your, your um, sofa over here, kitchen. <coughs> All right. I don't know if you're gonna be able to get into the bathroom here. Let me see. Oh, God. You might be able to squeeze in there, but it would definitely be tight. And then you have your bedroom back here. Hey, Jen, I'm loving the theme in here. If you want to focus on that. <laughs> it's time for a party. <laughs> a party, little dog party. You got a little cake and everything. <laughs> Jen! <laughs> Jen, oh my gosh, oh my that is so funny. I guys, just... don't get mad, it's just styrofoam. It's just styrofoam, guys. It's like when you go to the furniture store and they have all those like spilled drinks and stuff. Yeah. Well, Jen, while we're getting the slide outs out, we want to take a moment to thank RV Life for sponsoring the video. Guys, there's one day left. If you plan on coming to the show tomorrow, stop by the RV Life display, talk to Patrick, stop by their seminar, learn all about RV Life. And if you haven't already downloaded RV Life, use promo code Matt's RV Reviews for a free seven day trial and 25% off if you decide to go through with the purchase. And Jen, RV Life truly is just the best app for RVers. And if you guys have been to the show this week, comment down below if you stop by the RV Life seminar and if you learned something. Because um, Will and Jen, they used to not use RV Life and they got stuck under a bridge. That was a scary experience. So <clears throat> now, now. 10 out of 10 recommend RV Life. <clears throat> 10 out of 10 would recommend. Jen, this is a small motorhome with three slide outs, and we're almost done. Let's get started in the cockpit area. Jen, right. would you like to do it again? I guess so. All right. Okay, let's see. Where Talk to me. Are. Seats are very comfortable, first of all. Um, looks like you have your leveling system over here, um, cup holders. Got some of your controls, a wireless phone charger right here. Whoa! Which I'm currently using. Look at that. And then we have our driver's area. Hang on, let's see your screensaver real quick. Okay. Is that the cutest little boy and cutest little girl? Yes, and it's a live photo. Aww. Look at you. Aw, Yuna and Tucker love each other. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, really nice driver's area here. We got the uh touch screen display with all your radio controls, yes. XM. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. The newer steering wheel, all your controls right there, cup holders. Yep. There's also power seats. Both seats swivel around to become part of the living area. And then over here, Jen, I'm just cruising up here. I also have a wireless charger. Can you try again? Siri, shut up. <laughs> I also have a wireless charger here. The seat swivels around. Um, Definitely not the most comfortable seat I've sat in. Oh, there you go. Yeah, okay, I was that's like, better. I don't think it's too bad. Right, I was just a little up some. Mm -hmm. And then you get it adjust. Oh, oh, oh man, you got the whole action going Does on. Does it go back further? I, I, I don't know how. Yeah, that's think. cool though, it's like a little recliner too. Right. There's buttons on buttons on buttons, mm -hmm. but it does. And then up here, we have very nice storage. Nice. Do this one real quick. Speakers there. Yes, ma'am. And again, you know, nice seats. 
And then coming on in here is the living room. So, how do you like the color scheme in here, Jen? Um, I'm liking it. It's a, it's very neutral. Do you like this? Uh, you know what it looks like? It looks like the back of a turtle shell. I think it looks like like emo, like emo wear, <laughs> but not black. Tonight will be the night that I will fall for you over again. <laughs> right here we have very nice storage. <laughs> You know, the people who are on TikTok will understand that one. Right. But yes, I remember the emo, like yeah, the silver you know what stars. I mean? Like yeah. the um, necklace thing. Right here. Uh, check out these balances. Approved! Bing! Jen, three for three on balances. Yeah, we're doing good at the Hershey Show with balances. There you go. Well, it does help that we're in Newmar and in Texas. Yeah. Right here, we do have our privacy blinds and daytime blinds. It's a very nice sofa. It does come out to make a bed. These windows open. You got windows all the way around. And it's uh, unique that we're actually next to the kitchen, but we are directly across from the TV Entertainment Center dinette, which <coughs> the TV button, I saw it right here. It's going up. No. Now it is. There you go. There's the TV. So right here we got nice windows. You push a button and the TV starts coming up. Check out this very nice storage. Jen, don't ruin the decorations. I'm sorry, guys. It's beautiful. Body yes. decorations. Right there. Uh, we have the sound bar. I love how, I love, like, look how slow the TV's coming up. But I you're not holding it. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right here, the dinette does drop down to make a bed. It is a nice solid surface on the dinette. And um, look at this, they even got puppy plates and everything. Oh, I mean, yeah, they went, they went extra on this. They did a good job. And then let's see, yes, nice. there is storage under this dinette and under this dinette right here. Also something, Jen, you have a- Well, really? Yes, it's very nice. Well, Jen, do you know what time it is? It's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. MSRP on this unit here, Jen, if you come on down here. MSRP on this motorhome is $256,298. Jen, that is MSRP. That is expensive. But Jen, do you think we're selling it for that at the Hershey RV show? No way. Not before, during, or after. And if you guys are interested in this motorhome, all you got to do is go to matchrvrvs.com, fill out the contact tab. We're here to make sure you guys get a great price, great service, and the best RV buying experience in the industry. And Jen, to answer one of the questions that I talked about on the outside, again, uh, RV1 did pay $2,850 for the special exterior colors, which is totally worth it in my opinion. Yep. Jen, show us this kitchen. All right. Over here we have a big two bowl sink. Nice faucet. Lots of storage up top. Yeah. All the way over there. Very nice. Little window here with the balances. And then we got a little sponge rack thingy. Ooh. Hey! What are we at now? What's the number? It's a hundred and fifty six dollar trash can. I'm sorry. Very nice. Very nice. A little bit of like a shelf up there. For we sure. won't hold that one against you, Jen. I know, I'm off today. Alright, we got a whirlpool. Nice big whirlpool convection microwave, I would assume. Doesn't say, but there's no oven, so I would assume so. It is convection, yes. How do you like this backsplash? Oh, I actually really like it. Okay. I like the gray tone. And then we got drawers here. Mm. Very nice. Nice solid surface countertops too. Yes, ma'am. So this will fold back for you. Very nice. Three burner propane cooktop. And then we got some drawers here, like the little dividers. A little cutting board there. Well, that's a sink topper. Yeah, there's the other side of the sink topper. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> live, love, bark. Live, love, live. To err is human. To forgive, canine. Canine. But beautiful. All right, then we have a... There we go. Whirlpool fridge here. Residential style. Very nice. Yes, ma'am. And then Jen, you see what's underneath the fridge? Oh, what is this? Oh, a little um, baking sheet. 
Oh, storage. Honey. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. And then, oh, I almost missed, guys. Got Look it. at this pantry. Very nice. Yes, huge. Lots of storage there. Very, very nice. Yes, and oh, then. Is this, this could probably be like flex. Oh, no, this oh is more of a God. pantry. Look at all of this, guys. Hamburger helper. Chef, Chef boy. <laughs> Look at this. Kraft mac and cheese. Kraft mac and cheese. Keep going. Cup hey. of soup. No, Stolfus lasagna. Stolfus lasagna. Stolfus. And then uh, what's going down there? Um, cake mix. Yes. Betty and Crocker. Betty Crocker. Yep. And then final one. Duncan Hines. <laughs> what is that? That's a cake mix brand. Oh, okay. <laughs> you can't double cake mix. I mean, I don't know what you're doing. Plus. Right here, we do have a nice mirror for the door for the bathroom. Great job with the kitchen, Jen. Thank you. Over here, huge shower. Oh, I like the design of that. It's kind of it cool. Is. It's nice. Big, nice spaces, nice glass door, tall ceiling, can't even touch it. Really nice shower jet. Very spacious and nice. I like what they did here. Check out what we got going on there. All right, we got some storage up top. Yes, ma'am. Some more over there. Very good. And then you got your little mirror and medicine cabinet. Very nice. I like this light fixture too, it's pretty. Oh yeah. And then nice solid surface countertops in here as well. That drawer is dangerously close to the toilet. Oh wow. But it passes. And then some more storage on there and a little um, hand towel. How, how are you feeling about this Fabergé egg right here? I just like that it's a bigger sink. But right, but it's crawling. It's kind of hurting my eyes, honestly. Right, look, I can see myself in there. Right, it's like it doubles as a mirror. But yeah, very nice. Okay, let's check out this toilet. I like this, but I don't like this. I like those like clear ones. Yeah. That Newmar does and like the Dutch Star. Porcelain? It's close. But Jen, this is a prime pooping position. Ding! Very nice. And then coming on here into the master bedroom, Jen, this is what opposing slides get you in the mm -hmm. bedroom. Very nice. Right over here, we have the Samsung TV. Look, look, look at the little Frenchy action going there with the flower pot. Very Ooh, nice. All out for this theme. Right. Right there, we have storage there. Could you imagine making that phone call? Like, hey, I need a Frenchy flower pot. <laughs> right. Who'd they send to TJ Maxx? Right. And what's up with Europe? You know it's not called TJ Maxx, it's called TK, TK Maxx. Maxx. I don't know what that means. Right, maybe TJ had a brother <laughs> who took over the uh, European market. Yeah. Right there we have storage. And then right there we have storage. I like how those drawers come out far too. Did you notice that? Yeah. So that it's easy to get into with that. And it was slow rise. Mm -hmm. And then over here, nice window. Uh, here's just your fuses and everything. Okay, king size bed, very comfortable. <laughs> Nice headboard. Uh oh, looks like we're gonna have some guests popping in here, Jen. All right. Right over here. Oh nope, they diverted. <laughs> they diverted. Divert, divert, divert. divert. Hey. Oh, uh, right over here we have very nice storage, nice headboard and everything. And uh, what do we got going on over there? Looks like a little side table. You got um, a regular plug to out to uh, USBs and then some storage on there. And can I just say, look at what that cup says, making fetch happen. You know what that's a reference to. Mean I, I, I mean don't. Girls. What? Mean Girls, yeah. We were just watching that. <laughs> what does that mean? Gretchen and Mean Girls are always like, that's so fetch. And then one time Regina's like, you can't just make fetch happen. <laughs> okay. So making fetch so, happen. So, Mr. Strollo, <laughs> you're watching this a Saturday night, Sunday night. Unfortunately, that mug will not be in here. I will steal the mug for you, Jen. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. Thanks for helping us. Hashtag Jen, hashtag making fetch happen, <laughs> hashtag making Jen happen because she filled in for Andrea and we appreciate it. Thank I you. will personally steal <laughs> you that mug. <laughs> Let's see. All right. And wow, very nice storage underneath there. Nice. Well, Jen, that's it. That's the review. That's the Bay Star. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time we give you three things we love about it, three things we dislike about it, Jen. What do we do first? Let's do our dislikes first. Dislikes first. Mm -hmm. I have two outside. Okay. So if you want to go first. Okay. So I will say dislike is, I kind of wish that this was a theater seat. Okay. Because, well, it's kind of a combo. I wish they had either done a bunk, a drop down bunk, or, you know, right. I don't know. They were trying to keep the sleeping space, but I just wish that like you had a little bit more comfortable seating and posing from yeah. the TV. That's yeah. the only thing. Definitely, okay. 
That's dislike number one. Jen, dislike number two, we're gonna talk about it again, but from the inside. I don't understand what the heck this awning's doing here. Like, just in the middle of the window, I've never seen anything like that. They're talking very loud and I'm getting distracted. But again, sometimes I talk a little loud. And, and I'm the one, I'm the distractor, mm -hmm. not the distractee. Right. But that is dislike number two. And then, Jen, dislike number three, it's gonna be the carpet up here. Like, this is the one place I don't want the carpet in the RV. And then the carpet in the storage on the outside. Right. You know what I'm saying? And there's some carpet underneath the dinette, too, where you're eating, so. Exactly. And there's carpet right here. Yeah. Just a little too much carpet, if you ask me. Well, Jen, that's three things we don't like about it. Now, it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. May I go first? Yeah. I, I love the colors. I think, yep. I think this is a nice, white-looking color. Um, without trying to go with the farmhouse traditional what everybody else is going to I feel like Newmark kind of found their own identity with this and I think it looks fantastic yeah that's like number one like number two I have to say this bedroom back here talk to me I love the opposing slide you have tons of space to get dressed in here tons of storage I like how they were intentional about having that come all the way out the extra length yep yeah, overall, this bedroom is really, really nice. It really, really is. Jen, that's number two. And then again, kind of being intentional. I like the shower. I like the way the shower looks. Um, I like the bathroom. They really made it work. Good size shower. And then and then kind of touching on Jen's point, three big slide outs, beautiful motorhome, 22.5 inch tires, luxury features. And another thing that I really love is the fact that you are able to kind of get your own custom color scheme. <coughs> like... You don't get to pick the pattern, but the pattern's picked, but you can pick the different colors, mm -hmm. which I think that's just a nice touch. And it's not an expensive touch. And if I bought a Numar, I would 100% be doing that. Well, Jen, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Special shout out to Jen. So fetch. Um, thank you so much for filling in for Andrea. We appreciate meeting everybody at the Hershey RV show this year. And if you're coming tomorrow, we can't wait to see you tomorrow. If you guys are interested in this Numar or any Numar, please go to our website, MattsRVReviews.com, fill out the contact tab. We're here to make sure you guys get a great price, great service, and the best RV buying experience in the industry. Jen, what do you want to say to America? Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed getting to peek inside this new Newmar. Um, it's really beautiful. And um, like Matt said, if you did come and see us at the Hershey Show, thank you so much for coming by. It was great meeting all of you. And um, if you haven't yet, make sure you stop by on Sunday. The last day will be in the big orange tent. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave down in the comments the three things that you like about this motorhome, three things you don't like, and we'll see you next time. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. And Jen, we'll see you next time.